I'm Jason, and if I could write one song, it'd be Impossible Germany by Wilco. I first heard Impossible Germany when I was on tour with Always. Their tour manager, who also did sound for them, uh, would sound check with Impossible Germany, and I'd always hear it every single night. I just hear dun dun dun. And it just like, it got so stuck in my head. I was pretty struck by the beauty of it. I'm like pretty familiar with Wilco's work, but prior to that, I only knew about Yankee Foxtrot Hotel. I never got further into being a Wilco fan. Like I didn't know that um, they have these like really beautiful deep songs that have this gorgeous arrangement and like gorgeous guitar solo, like really explosive and beautiful. Think about Impossible Germany, you can like develop new meanings for the song each time you listen to it, because it could either be like about the historical component, which is like Germany and Japan, World War II. Um, there's also the meaning of like two lovers, because he's a musician, so it could be about him on tour. I like to imagine that it's about two people, because I, I just love classic songs about love. I'm pretty influenced by the way Jeff Tweedy sings. I think just the way he ends his phrases when he's singing is really cool, just like kind of like um, retracts back or like he's very quiet at times and he's kind of like husky, but he says it and he sings his lyrics with such like sincerity. And I feel like I try to come across that way. The way he pulls back his emotions when he's singing, I feel like that's very um, similar to the way we kind of choke on our words when we don't really know how to express um, or communicate our feelings to other people even just like talking is so hard. I feel like he does that with his singing too. It's kind of hard to express things while you're singing because it's a different form of um, communicating with people. And you're like singing these notes, but you're using poetry to get your thoughts across. And sometimes that could be harder. Nothing more important than you know. Someone's listening, now I know. I've always thought about making a record kind of like Impossible Germany where you're sort of unhinged and you kind of have like a form that is not acceptable in like popular music. Not exactly like A, B, A, B, C, A, B. Verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. I feel like I personally like to make music too that's just like here's the section of the song that has vocals and then the next is just like instrumental and then you have like one line. But they do it in a way where it's not too much, it's not overbearing. And I feel like I always want to do that in my music too. Just not be too much, but be simple about it. There's no way you could write this song. Like Nels Klein just like destroys that solo. That's like one of the best solos of all time. He like eviscerates it and no one can ever come close. <laughs> 